Good morning and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, July 21st. And you can see a nice start to the day. We expect plenty of sunshine, especially in the morning to early afternoon hours. It's going to be really hot and humid. we got a heat advisory for the uh, southern part of the lower peninsula with uh, temperatures expected to rise in the low to mid 80s with uh, humidities and dew points way up there. We'll have heat indexes around 100 degrees here for the afternoon hours. And that heat advisory will extend into Friday evening. Uh, tomorrow will even be warmer. I think we get high of highs around 93 to 96 with dew points above 70, well into the 70s, giving us a heat index in some cases approaching 105 to 110 degrees. And uh, so again, it's going to be very sticky. We've got a MCS complex of storms that are expected to drop from Wisconsin and the UP down into the lower peninsula by late this afternoon and tonight. And those could be on the strong to severe side. Again, don't be surprised to see uh, the potential for some severe thunderstorm watches issued for later on today and into the uh, nighttime hours. If we look at the uh, headlines, again, the heat advisory, excessive heat, that's the big story along with uh, hopefully some thunderstorms to give us some much needed rain. If we look at the normals, our normal high for today is 84, the normal low is 60. And if we look at conditions around the area yesterday, uh, no precipitation. Once again, we had high temperatures across the center part of the state, hit the 90 degree mark, upper 80s elsewhere. If we look at the uh, state right now, currently you can see across the MAC area, temperatures off to a very warm start in the upper 60s to around 70. And again, these same areas that hit 90 yesterday probably are going to be the hot spots. Uh, expect uh, many 90 degree temperatures across the entire area, but we could see our warmest temperatures here across the, the center part of the state, down towards Billsfield and Jasper as well, where I think many areas will get well into the, uh, at least into the low 90s, I believe. And again, we'll watch those thunderstorms drop down from northwest to southeast or, or over the afternoon and evening hours. If we look at the uh, next shot, you can see this is a little bit uh, cluttered, but what we have in white is the, the uh, actual air temperature. Uh, in the uh, uh, green is the uh, dew points, and in the uh, red or pink is the uh, heat index. So we'll watch those later on today, and you can see it on our website, updates about every five minutes. And you can see just how high the dew points and the heat index gets over the next couple of days. If you look at the uh, MAC's lightning detection system that we have here, you can see some very strong storms uh, off to our northwest. And they're going to be dropping down to the southeast here. And these will be the storms that affect us later on today. If we look at the uh, radar, you can see those storms uh, advancing from the western UP in uh, Wisconsin. They'll be marching their way right towards us. Again, don't be surprised to see some weather watches issued here later on today. If we look at the weather map this morning, you can see we have a uh, significant area of the state under uh, the potential of a slight risk area for severe storms. And again, these will be for late in the day into tonight. And then by tomorrow, that front gets ever so close. We'll have a chance of scattered thunderstorms, but we're going to continue to be underneath the heat uh, area here for the next several days. And uh, as we get into Saturday, that first front really uh, has kind of washed out somewhat. we got a new low pressure that will be tracking off to the northeast. And it looks like by Saturday night into Sunday, we could repeat this with the more potentially strong thunderstorms uh, from Saturday night into uh, Sunday and Sunday night. If we look at the uh, next shot, you can see the uh, WPC's five-day expected forecast of rain. Many of the areas between three-quarters of an inch to uh, over an inch. If we look at the uh, next shot, you can see these are the uh, amount of 90-degree days. Remember last year? We had three locations that picked up one 90 degree day. You can see we've already had six here in Breckenridge, five at Jasper, and four at Blissfield and Middleton. And we'll continue to pile up these numbers here over the next few days. We'll get back into the 80s, I think, for early next week. And then by the middle or late of, uh, part of next week, we're going to see more 90 degree heat move back in. So we're in a pretty warm pattern over the next six, six to 10 days. You can see uh, much of the country is either normal or above normal. And we're uh, certainly expected to be above normal here from the Great Lakes all the way to the East Coast. You can see that trough trying to dig in. And then that area of the trough is where we expect a uh, greater than normal chances of precipitation. And we'll be around normal here across the uh, state. And as far as the 8 to 14 day outlook, you can see this begins to moderate somewhat with normal. As that uh, trough kind of gets broke down, then we'll see a new resurgence of heat uh, continue across the Great Lakes and eventually spread back to the Midwest. And as far as precipitation, we expect with that uh, trough nearby, there'll be somewhat of a battle zone so we can look for above normal precipitation in the 8 to 14 day outlook. And so we look at the uh, forecast here over the next five days. You can see 
plenty of heat across the board and looks like a good chance of th showers and thunderstorms, especially for tonight into early Friday and then again for Saturday night into Sunday. I think that's our best chances of precipitation. You can see some of the numbers output by some of the various models. The European gives us all about a third of an inch. That's down quite a bit from its previous run. So I think they're having a hard time with that MCS complex, thinking it's going to uh, fall apart. And that is a possibility. And maybe they're depending on more of the uh, next system for Saturday night and Sunday. You can see the GFS three quarters of an inch, just under an inch from the WPC, the Canadian 1.45, and the uh, Japanese model at about two thirds of an inch. So it looks like a good chance of uh, thunderstorms over the next three, three or four days with lots of heat. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.